This is Mama Purple in her garden, reflecting on the wall, the wall, midsummer, ascot, materialism, and my neighbor's extension, architecture, designs, materialism. You can ask to see the shed costing 10,000 quid. Fire for peace. Children in the garden, and we've got three friends here who are going to discuss. what they think about one love. <laughs> well, Brother Michael Jackson's gone to heaven and um, I'm just going to invite three heaven, three friends here left on the earth. And um, what do you think about architecture and the concept of one love? And what? One love, one, one love, God. One God. We've got a Moroccan philosopher, <laughs> a Jamaican philosopher and <laughs> healer and nurse and we've got a community international therapist philosopher nurse, and um, poet <laughs> and um, we're discussing today what, what you think about the creator and one God in reflection to how we manifest architecture so I do believe it was in Morocco the um, architecture there is very reflectant of universal principles. And, th and he said things move on, nothing is static. Nothing is static. What, what, how do you feel about your Moroccan architecture? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've lost my Moroccan architecture myself. I was born in an ancient house, 500 years old, and uh, it actually belonged to, to the community belongs to the mosque and the community of the ancient faith mm. because all the, the medina belong to the mosque and all the people most of the people who live in the houses the houses belong to people who've given it for charity oh, most of the teach the city was given as charity and what's so, the name of your city yes. so all most mm. of the houses are rented from the government uh, to pay or to put the money in the box for public and the whole town is like that. I've lost my house because I couldn't rebuild it or refurbish it mm. because it was too expensive to do. It cost about mm. a million pounds to refurbish it. So do you think governments all over the world that. have got greedy? So the government yes, took greed. it over, fix it so as think? it was, put it back as it was and rent it £500 a night. Mm. So it's got very expensive, well, the land in Morocco. People. The land here, it, this land here is worth, <laughs> worth quite a lot of money. <laughs> well, Vince, do you think that most well, wars preaching. are caused by these land problems? <laughs> land problems. <laughs> land problems. <laughs> That's right. Wars always about power, money, greed, and, and greed, and land. It's nothing about to do with people. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with religion. Power, power, power. It's so when you went to India, did you see that? Those battle between Muslims and Hindus and land um, and... Yeah. Look what's happening in Iran at the moment. It's mm. very sad, isn't it, what's happening yeah. in Iran? And in Jamaica that happens. Do you think that happens in the Caribbean with the families arguing over the... Well, we don't sell property, no, we don't argue. We, property remains in the family. <laughs> we never <laughs> sell property. So do you get family feuds in the no, Caribbean? No, no, we don't. I'm the oldest, so we don't fight. Mm, no, but in other families, do you well, think? Well, I don't know. Some people sell property, but our family never mm. sell property. Same in my family. So how, how, do you oh, think, yeah. how do you think human beings can bring this one love through the land problems? Because that seems to be the problem, by, isn't it? By sharing, sharing. Other, by helping each other first to understand each other. Mm. by trying to get near to each other, by being humble and being gentle and, and loving and caring and sharing. Sharing mm. is the only way we can, we can accept each other, if we show love and peace to each other. Mm. If we can't do that, so we, we, we must go to a so about cooking together and being together. Doctor won't teach you much. <laughs> and bring, and well, there's a doctor. There's a, a chemist. There's a chemist. Oh, no. I won't give you that. Well, Vincent, Vincent, did, did you, did you know it was a... And mm. there's a doctor. There is a doctor who is full of knowledge, of apparent knowledge, mm. and who who can who who, do, who you don't need 
because the apparent knowledge is very apparent. It's for everyone, mm -hmm. and anyone can understand it or study it or find it or do anything, be whatever you want to do. But the hidden knowledge that we all need, that helps you everywhere you go, which is remains in your chest. Mm -hmm. The hidden knowledge is the knowledge that not everybody is very much interested in nowadays, I'm afraid. And that's actually the, the way to heal each other, mm -hmm. the way to find each other, the way to to be with each other. And I was reading a book recently about from the subconscious. Within, See, it's ah, sort of, it seemed to moving a bit from mm. the conscious so to subconscious. That is the knowledge we need. It's, we can it's all teach people the knowledge. The knowledge. In the subconscious, yes. The world. <laughs> You have the knowledge. <laughs> he has the knowledge. There's a lot of knowledge in the subconscious. For example, we can all teach people the knowledge yes. of how to be yes. another person, how to be, yeah. how, to be how to be, how to be conscious of and other people. If we can use and this fear properly, this hope, then this love. they are all yeah. as we are ourselves. We well, all we have the same. So, what do you think of armed forces, though? Because today is they, there's they, a promotion. They are, they are what completely what useless. It's completely pointless. I mean, the government doesn't know what they're doing. They don't want to give the armies any money, but then they want to go out and get them killed. He's got the fly on his shirt. I just hit the fly on his shirt. He's got the fly on his shirt. And what did, do you know is Armed Forces Day today? Yes, yes. And we're having a de-arm yourself in the garden relaxation for the Stop the War Party. So what do you think of Armed Forces Day? Do you think it's they need honest. to have... If it is day to day, I have found in myself Batisi in Park. it. I have never knew in much Park, about it. Having I heard right. on TV but news yeah, and stuff about it. Yeah, they're having a procession that. and mm. marching but and drumming and all. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, 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 we're here for food and music and sharing. nice people and have a good service. I think the neighbours should have... I can never understand why anybody would want to join the army. So I'm here for I don't know, you know why. It's like I'm saying, here with you, for you. And Hello, <laughs> Prime Minister. I, I would like to kill I myself for you. you are, because I love you so much. much. You know, I mean, I does anybody really feel like that? You know, when it's about Iraq, money and survival. Started, we, we, a lot of us wrote to the, to, to the, the Prime Minister. Remember, from the church? Yeah, we did, yeah. I, 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 I did. Mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. I didn't believe in that they should attack. Was it because you three are all from different countries and from different religions, and you're all sharing food, music, and sitting together around the same table? So because I think, I think that we was think that's very right. good. You're all different religions. Well, that's actually you all brought different, brought different food to the table. We bought different food to the table. Give me the oil and you that is give me the oil that is proven enough. The oil and that's proven enough. Some people who want peace. We want, we want peace. Want yeah, that's true. But do you think why are people calling into making money to survive by dedicating their lives to war? Greed, I'm afraid. Greed. Greed. Aim for power. Whatever it is. Greed. People are, you know, people are getting, if you are used to wealth and power, you'd be too worried to, to lose it. So mm -hmm. you are what you are and you are what you get used to. Mm -hmm. so just be careful what you get used to. Mm -hmm. Some people can't get out what, what they are in. And they, no, I met an old American and Indian and I said, what do we they, do for peace? He said, have a picnic in the park. <laughs> So this is our picnic in the park. And he said, no, you just get the world leaders together and have a picnic in the park. Have a feast together and music and talk. And that's what we're doing here today. Do you see what's happening to, to, to Blair at the moment? They're, they're, they're Trying to be a mediator for they're, the Middle yeah. East. But the thing is that they're, going, they're, they're thinking of an inquiry about the um, mm. Iraq war. Why, mm. you know, himself and Bush brought the Iraq war on. And mm. to Complex. To have an inquiry about yeah. it. Yeah, interesting mm. to have that. But you know it's going to be bollocks, you know, whatever they say. Whatever happened, has no, happened. No, it won't be the truth, will it? Well, well, thank you for sharing the party. Yeah. And do you have any? Con do you believe in life after death? Yeah. Do you think? Where do you think Michael Jackson's gone to now? Uh, at the moment, uh, his body in the grave and his soul is in a world of of, uh, of souls. It's called mm -hmm. Barzakh. Exactly. And uh, I believe that. Too. And what do you call it in Christianity? Heaven? No, it's 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 just halfway a place home. Of rest. It's a place of rest. Mm -hmm. it's a place and what would you say in spiritualism? A <laughs> place of rest. Where you go when you pass over? Yes, that's right. A waiting room. A waiting room. <laughs> the body is finished. But mm. the spirit, yeah. spirit is going to stay where it's familiar until it's. Until the time of It's only if you kind of like you've had enough, you said bye to the body and you checked everybody out and all your friends. So, do you, do you think a lot of these people causing war and land problems, they're atheists or they don't believe in the spirit? Yeah. Do you think they've not been taught?